Well, the Oakland Fire Department is working to get some of its fire inspectors properly certified. Last week, a letter from the two acting fire chiefs went out to Oakland's Fire Prevention Bureau saying some inspectors were missing a certification needed for their job. That certification should have been completed by the end of their nine-month probation period. We don't want to lose a one of them. They're all tenured, you know, well-seasoned inspectors, and we will work with them to meet whatever requirements are appropriate. And the deputy chief says he is asking for the fire inspector's paperwork by May 12th. We are told it's simply a written exam that they do need to take. And with more on that, we have the mayor, Libby Schaff, in our studio. Thanks for getting up early with us. We appreciate that. Oh, it's great to be here. Uh, let's talk about the certification issue out of the gate. Just uh, your reaction to that. Listen, um, this is something that does not worry me because we will absolutely have it corrected. I'm thinking more holistically, though, about all of our fire services. And since that ghost ship fire back in December, we have been working diligently to really ensure that we provide the best fire service of any city in this country. We have several task force forces working. Uh, they actually come and have to report into me personally every two weeks. And there are some great uh, strides that we've made. Uh, we've changed a lot of the reporting protocols for the police department. So we make sure that all of our different city employees are referring issues of concern to the appropriate department. We are in this next budget cycle going to grow the staff of fire prevention inspectors from what is currently six inspectors plus one vacant position and it, by two years from now that will be 20 inspectors. Because one of the big issues was there were not enough people to go back and follow up and do all of the the things that were necessary. Um, I think out of the tragedies it's always about shining a light and trying to figure out how to better the system uh, and in in that vein, you've also got a new police chief at the, the helm. Uh, how do you think she's doing? Oh, she's great. Um, she calls herself Chief K. Chief <laughs> Ann Kirkpatrick uh, has really just charmed Oaklanders. But let me tell you, behind the scenes, she is all business. She's don't, tough, huh? don't let that Southern sweetness <laughs> fool you. Um, I've been particularly impressed with how much she's paying attention to data. She's really drilling in right now to response times. That is an area that we need to improve in, and she has been right on top of it. And she lives like a block away from, uh, from the, where she works, right? Yeah, she's a downtown so. resident. She's loving it. And in terms of the way that you guys interact, I mean, is it a hands-off approach saying, look, I hired you for this job and I want you to just go for it, or is it I need to check in and I need to see kind of as we go step by step what you're doing? There are a list of issues that she must contact me about immediately. I always hear from her right away, and then we have regularly scheduled check-ins without an agenda, but if there is any issue around officer misconduct, anytime there is a homicide in this city and anytime violence gets to uh, a certain level any type of gun violence we immediately have an all-hands conference call you want to know Absolutely. you want to know right away and, and we have every command staff everybody on that line including our violence prevention people because part of what we need this police department to do is work collaboratively with other departments not just law enforcement I promise I won't mention the Raiders that's old news but the <laughs> Oakland A's are still here and they announced uh, about two or three weeks ago that they got a big, uh, big announcement coming up that they're going to build a new stadium. Can Where is it going to be? Shed some on, light on that. Us. Where is, is it, it going to be? Here in Jack London Square. <laughs> is it on the Coliseum? Can Complex? we walk from where we are? Yes. You know, I, I think it, you will be able to walk from where you are no matter where it goes. Um, they have not told me their final decision yet, but I have been um, certainly part of all the discussions, the pros and cons. I think they're pretty narrowed down to two sites, uh, one near Laney College and one near Jack London Square. We can both. walk to both. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's all about us, You're right? good, you're good, either way. The important thing is, I mean, the A's have just renewed yes. their love of Oakland, the Rooted in Oakland campaign that's going on, their absolute commitment to build a new ballpark in Oakland. And what would that do for the downtown area? Because we know what it did for AT&T Park to, uh, you know, the China Basin area. It would just explode down. Here, we know that it will transform people's experience of the downtown. It will create this incredible amenity. And you let d developments like this be a catalyst for other improvements to anchor. the street, street yeah. grid. Transportation improvements yeah. will be a big part of this project as well. Okay, I know Oakland Promise is... Uh, close to your heart and uh, tell us about that because you've got some big things happening this month. Uh, the Oakland Promise is a cradle to career initiative that we believe will triple the number of Oakland students who not just graduate from high school but graduate from college. And we have a huge celebration coming up on May 31st 
we will be awarding 400 Oakland seniors with more than three million dollars in scholarships wow. plus all of them will get persistent support a lot of people don't know that uh, for low-income college students only 20 percent graduate nationally and we want to change that these students are getting individual mentors peer support groups academic support we want to not just get kids in college we want to get them through college so you've got to follow 400, them through. 400 please go to Go to the oaklandpromise.org, oaklandpromise.org, and learn more about this inspirational program. Yeah, that's amazing, and I think we'll be hearing lots more about that in the coming in the coming weeks. All right, Mayor, we thank you for getting up with us. All right, and thank coming you. In. Really so appreciate much for coming in. Right, we appreciate a, it. It's a beautiful day in Oakland.